Let's talk a little bit about modular theory. Modularity is the method of organization of small sub-pieces into a larger overall unit. The idea of modularity can easily be compared to the game of Tetris. In the game of Tetris, you spin and move pieces to fit in with other pieces, with the intent to create a line of blocks. Each block consists of multiple squares or predefined dimensions. This allows each piece to fit together perfectly. This is similar to the idea of modularity for games, as each asset's measurements are relative to the rest of the pieces that will be joined with or created with to make for a larger or full-scale environment. The big difference between Tetris and 3D modular construction is considering the X, Y, and Z directions in 3D space for each asset instead of 2D like the game of Tetris. When we are working in 3D, we always need to be aware of the space each piece occupies. This space is often called a footprint of the mesh. It's how we label and understand the space that the mesh takes up in X, Y, and Z, so that we can accommodate and have other pieces that work together with cooperative footprints. Let's say I create a shape that has 100 centimeters wide and 200 centimeters tall. If I now turn that shape on its side, its footprint has changed in multiple directions, and as it now takes up 200 centimeters from left to right and only 100 centimeters from top to bottom. Knowing the space that you need to fill to connect different pieces together will help you determine the dimensions of all your assets you'll be making. Also notice that we used rounded numbers. Working with numbers that are easily dividable, such as 20, 50, 100, 1000, and so on, are good to use as they promote simple math when creating multiple shapes that will need to occupy different spaces and dimensions. Let's take a quick look at some of the footprint sizes here. Notice to the right, there are three shapes. Each of them have a different footprint. One is 500 by 500, the next is 500 by 1000, and the last is 1000 by 1000. The sizes used here specifically allow pieces to fit together as seen below in the form of a square. This is because all the pieces are sized relative to the multiple of 500. These pieces can now be easily formed together to form a castle shape to the left. This leaves no missing spots or issues with pieces not connecting properly. This is what makes modularity a very powerful tool for both artists and designers alike. Designing with predetermined footprints makes for a quick design iteration and mixing up different sets of pieces to fully construct a scene. We'll talk more about how design plays a role in creating our assets for modularity later on.